Hi guys, it's Moz here from Moz 6510 Models and on the workbench today I have the brand new ICM catalogue for 2021. If you've not been on this channel before, basically I go through the stash of catalogues that I've got and I film them page by page, whether they're vintage or whether they're new, so that you can experience and see what the manufacturers were producing back in the day. And today I've got this one, the ICM, which is a new one that came through, will now be added to my collection. I'm hopefully going to be able to put every single catalogue that I own in order in playlist on youtube so everyone can enjoy the catalogs i really thoroughly enjoy catalog i really do push that people do buy these catalogs because they are an essential reference for you to go back to and sometimes it's just nice to you know me being a bit of a cad i suppose i do enjoy going back through old catalogues from the 70s and the 80s and just reliving some of my youth when I'd gone through looking at catalogues, deciding which one to get next. But anyway, this is ICMs this time, and I try to film these in the best quality possible. So if you want to see it in the best quality, I suggest you go to quality on the cog settings, click quality and select 1080p. If you think I'm turning the pages a little bit too quickly, you can slow the video down by going to the cog settings, clicking playback and uh, selecting um, either 0.5 or 0.25. You can also pause the video at any time and then press play when you finish watching that page. And I do suggest you watch this on the biggest screen you can find and watch it in full screen. Anyways, only 10% of the people who watch my channel are subscribers and it would really help the channel. If you could, just click that subscribe button and if you click the bell and select all, you'll be notified when I release a new video. And to subscribe to this channel is completely free. Anyways, let's get to it. This is the ICM catalogue for 2021. Enjoy.
you don't know much about ICM, they do uh, scales, 1 to 72, 1 to 48 scale planes, and they do figures, especially if you want, if you're into Game of Thrones, they do a range of the, uh, is it the White Walkers in Game of Thrones? And they do uh, diorama sets, and, and they do vehicles as well, transportation. So let's have a quick look through the catalogue. I know you've already seen it, but let's just do a quick recap on what was in this catalogue for 2021. I was quite surprised by this. This is a very, very plain looking uh, cover because I think you can see it. It just just say plastic model kits, and that's it in in a in a lighter white on the back of like like a beige a beige, and on the back is basically the same. Also, there's their QR code. So if you want to look at their new website, click on the click on that website code there. But yeah, they've so they put the like the index at the front of this one. And straight off, they've decided to hit you with new modes of the AH-1G Cobra early production attack helicopter, and uh, in one to thirty-two scale this one, and it does look a bit nice. And they've got the Vietnam War U.S. helicopter with uh, Cobra with the Vietnam Vietnam War U.S. helicopter parts. So they come with decent figures as well, and they also do the late production U.S. attack helicopter. So that's new this year. I don't think it's been released just yet, but keep it on your radar. Again, new kit there, a Tiger Moth in 1 to 32 scale, Swedish Fighter in 1 to 32 is new. Figures at 1 to 32 scale as well, cadets, uh, British pilots in tropical uniform. They've got a massive range here. Then they move on to the 148 aircraft here, moving through. They also have done where Airfix have gone for the 1 to 72 scale Bristol uh, Bulfer. This one here, Mark I World War II, they're doing it in one to forty-eight scale. So whether they just they they whether they were in short talks to Airfix and saying like, you do the one seventy-two and I do the one forty-eight, you know you know you don't know really. But yeah, this one's a new mode as well, the German Lander Glider. Now I never knew they did gliders. I thought it was just uh, an English thing, because as you know, I I've built a cut the gliders, um, you know, before, and I did one for the channel, which didn't come out very well because it was an old Frog Nova kit. But yeah, so they've got a lovely uh, German glider and they are fun to build because there's a lot of detail involved because it's canvas and canvas is a really nice look to a plane or to this case, a, a glider. So yeah, so keep an eye out for them when they come out. Look at this on the side here, new mode. They've got the B-26K counter invader USA, USAF Vietnam war attack aircraft. So that's going to be new in 1 to 48. Just look at look at that. Look at the, look at the guns on the front there. Look at that. Um, they've got eight guns on the front. Looks like. So yeah, that's that looks quite a nice little bit. I don't know much about the B twenty six K, so I'm gonna have to do some research on that one when it comes out. So that's a new kit for this one. They've got the O two A Lake Production USAF observation aircraft. That's going to be a new kit. There you go, the B. They also so they're going to bring out a B twenty six K with USAF pilots and ground crew as well. So that's good. New modes on an OV ten Bronco for one to forty eight scale. So that's going to look good. There you go. You can see another one to forty eight scale RAF pilots and ground personnel. I've never bought their uh, figures, so you know. Have, let me know in the in the comments below what you think of them if you have bought them. And they've got these drones. So now the the BQM thirty four A Fire B US or yeah Fire B US drone, two airplanes and pillions. So apparently that's going to be a new kit this year, and they have it on a trailer. She but she should be able to buy it on the trailer. You can see it there in a CAD image. So that's something new, which is in one to forty eight. Again, moving on through. So a lot of forty eight that that's new this year. Or oh, look at this, they're doing, in 1 to 72, they're doing a MiG-25 uh, PD Soviet Intercept Fighter, which is new, and the Soviet aircraft in new as well. And well, they're doing their own aircraft model stand, so whether they can be adapted for Airfix and other model kits. Moving on through, they've got some snap kits here in 1 to 44 scale. Is that 1 to 44? Yeah, there you go. So they've got um, a World War II German staff car and a G4 soft top. And they apparently snap kit, so no glue required. If you notice, because of licensing, they've basically done their own supersonic plane, but they've gone for the Tupolev 144. I think that's why they call it, or the 144D. So yeah, some nice Russian aircraft there. 
to be fair, they've got some nice stuff in here, you know, considering. They, they're a bit like many craft here with the 1 to 35 scale. They've got a lot of weaponry here and, and figures. Some more military vehicles there in 1 to 72 scale. And I think we're pretty much getting through it now. So we've got the US Civil War range there, Soviet tank crew, French line infantry, 1870 to 1871. Look at that, they've even got a model there for, uh, um, is it a Zwillin Schockel 36, World War II German anti-aircraft machine gun mount. That looks nice there. Can you see that in 1 to 35 scale? A British Vickers machine gun, so you can be able to buy that. Um, they've got some new figures there. There you go. Oh, what's that one there? That is the World War II Soviet BM-1316 MLRS vehicle and crew, or vehicle crew, sorry. So you can buy the crew for that. And they also do, look at that, new Soviet firemen. So they are, you know, aiming for the European, or the, sorry, the Eastern, the Eastern European Russian sort of market. Moving on through some new modes there of some ammunition boxes and a field toilet. <laughs> That's quite cool. So they open, you know, it, it's it's not um, bog standard stuff. It's a bit like Mini Art. Mini Art do some of this sort of stuff as well, don't they? That looks quite nice. Uh, it's not a new thing, but the German light fire truck, Mercedes badge deck. You see that very nice. They're bringing down a Soviet six-wheeled army truck with shelter and some Soviet fire trucks. So a lot of it, as I said, a lot of it's Russian and, and uh, you know, Eastern European, and they look at that there. They've, they're trying to do a Model T 1914 fire truck American car that looks quite nice as well. And they got they give it with crew, so that's coming. And that's a new mode there the Leyland Retriever General Service Early Production World War II British trucks. So if you're into that, this is in one to 35 scale, by the way. These ones, and also they're doing the G7 uh, 107 World War II army truck. And that is also in 1 to 35 scale. That looks quite nice as well for a new mode. Yeah, it's quite nice, this catalogue. You know, some nice... Oh, look at that. A Lafley V15 World War II French artillery towing vehicle. You've got, like, look at that, the funny wheels on the front. Do all the all the cars in, like, 1914's range. And then they've got this, the 100% new mode of Chernobyl extraction. So in this kit here, you're going to get two adults, two children, and luggage. So... You know, they've got like a Chernobyl Ranger. A little bit out of the box, but some people like to do this sort of stuff. And, um, you know, probably use uh, their weathering skills and everything to make um, some sort of diorama. Look at that. There's the Benz Patent Motor Wagon 1886. That would be a nice little build to do, wouldn't it? Fair play to them. They've got a SEAL Team Fighter down the bottom in Fighter 2. You know, and they've got new modes here for the British Marine. Look at that. So that's a new mode. Oh, they also do a police officer as well in 1 to 16 scale. These figures are 1 to 16. There's the uh, Game of Thrones, the, the Night King and the Whites. There you go. And they do a Roman Gladiator. It's going to be a new mode as well in 1 to 16 scale. So if you're into your figures, that might be a nice one to do. Then at the very end, they've got their ships, which is 1 to 350 scale. Only a couple there. And they've got the 1 to 700 scale. Submarines in 1 to 72 scale. So two hours, stick them together, then paint. And you've got submarines in 1 to 44, 144 scale, sorry. And also basically two hours, stick them together, and you're done. And new on the back diorama sets, they're going to have the World War II British truck. So I presume you get all three in one kit, just saying. And they've got the Wormac, Wermac, sorry. Uh, they're in a new, is that a new kit there? So, and you've got the World War II Red Army rocket artillery, that's new. And you have also these decals if you so wish to have different decals. And that's basically the catalogue from ICM. Well, there you go. That was the catalogue. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope we didn't waffle on too much. So if you do like these videos, will you do us a favour? Can you just share them to social media, whether it's Reddit, Facebook, Twitter? Um, can, you, can you even link it to Instagram and TikTok? I don't know. But if you can, please do. And let's see if we can get the channel really buzzing with these catalogue videos. Plenty more to come, by the way. Um, I've got some ideas for model builds and stuff. 
but um, at the moment I'm just trying to get through my catalogs as much as possible and some of my vintage kits. Anyways, that's it. So if you like the video, click like. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and ring the bell to be notified on any new videos. Any questions, any comments, put them in the box below and I do reply and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.